Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick look uh, at one of the things we do in my house with the dogs at least once a week, um, sometimes twice a week, and that is nail trimming, or as some people call them, pedicures for dogs. Um, so the way that I have trained this um, with both of the current dogs in my house is they get to offer basically a, a sequence of consent-based behaviors and to me that is critical um, to making nail trimming a low stress and enjoyable event for everybody. Um, I do not need to manhandle my uh, <laughs> irony. I do not need to manhandle my dogs to do nail trims and that has been established because of the um, consent and the trust that has been built between between us. So I'm going to give you a quick look at what it looks like for Miss Betty. Um, we, uh, let's see, we started this when she came home as a puppy. Um, and when she was about five or six months of age, we got to a point where um, she started to offer a sit behavior. And then, <laughs> there you go. That's her nice sloppy sit, like a French model. Um, which she only does when we're doing nail trims, oddly. Or, or not oddly, but um, she's super relaxed that way, um, so she offers a sit, and then I wait for her to offer eye contact, and those two behaviors together um, give me the green light that I can cue her for a paw target, so she just puts her paw in my hand, and then I proceed with um, clipping one of her nails. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like with one of her um, front feet. We actually did her back feet before I started recording, so I'll just do one or two nail trims, and you guys can see... Um, what that looks like. So after we clip a nail, she has learned that the sound of the clippers making that snap when it's closed um, is basically a marker that she gets to go to her snuffle mat, which is right over here, and get uh, like three or four little shibbles of food. So that's just a really nice um, area for her to enjoy the post manicure um, event. So and she takes as much time as she needs over at the snuffle mat and then when she is ready to do another nail, she'll pop herself back over in the corner. So at any time, if she's like, I've had enough, or you know, I'd rather go do something else, um, I'm sleepy, whatever, she has the ability to walk straight off of this little raised futon um, and, and mosey about. So um, again, super, super stress-free for the dogs, um, or as stress-free as possible, I should say, and they have 100% control of whether or not they want to interact or not. So what I'm gonna do to get her, <laughs> Get her kick started. I'm gonna put a piece of food on the ground, go get it, and then we can just show that whole sequence. So sometimes I will, you know, prompt her to, to hop up on the, you know, hop up, hop up on the futon. And obviously I have the nail clippers off, so she knows what's going on by now. Good. So she's sitting, she's looking at me. I will ask for a pop. Good girl. And I'm just gonna do a cutest nail. I need a good girl. And I know she's looking away and doing a little bit of a lip lip. Yes, good girl. Again, she could pull away her paw at any time if she'd like. And this is a work in progress with her. Um, she has days just like we do where she's kind of like, I don't want to be at the, the paw salon. I'd rather do something else like bite my brother's ears. So we just go with the flow. I usually don't need to get more than one or two nails done in a day. And honestly, that's all I really aim for. If she wants to keep going, we keep going. But one or two nails a day is just fine. Okay, so she had her little reward over on the snuffle mat. She's coming back, offering the sit. I know you're getting tired too. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, you want to do another one? She hears some noises outside, so I'm just going to wait that out. It's like I'm getting sleepy. Good girl. You want to touch? If she lays down again, we'll just be done. You guys can get the idea. Girl, should we do one more? Do you think one more for the audience? Good girl. Let's do, how about this middle one? Good girl. Again, we already did the back nails earlier this morning, so she's a little bit, um, towards the end of her end of her appointment as we'll say okay. got three to four pieces of food over on that snuffle mat for her to 
I have a little post nail procedure reward. And also the act of sniffing that will help calm her. I think we're going to be done there. So stay tuned. I'll do a, a video of Ernie's a version of his nails as well. And uh, feel free to leave any questions you have in the comment section. Um, and if you're interested in this type of procedure, um, you are encouraged to reach out to a reward-based force-free trainer that can help you make nail time for your pets more enjoyable as well. That's all for today. Bye-bye.